Staying with Matters Competition Commission, the proposed merger of Vodacom and Vumital, which the Competition Commission rejected, has the potential to bring fiber to one million new households in lower income areas and, of course, create thousands of jobs. The merger could also develop small and medium businesses. Now, that's according to Vodacom, which was commenting on the Competition Commission's decision. The Commission said that the deal would negatively impact competition in the space. We've got Gresha Mutizwa, who is the principal analyst at the Commission, and he joins us this afternoon to speak more about this. A very good afternoon to you, and thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. Let's start by unpacking the major reasons that the Competition Commission cited for the decision that it ultimately made around this merger. Okay, thank you, and uh, good afternoon to you and your, and your viewers. So, yes, um, it, maybe just to recap, um, so in, in this transaction, Vodacom was proposing to buy uh, a controlling interest in a, a reorganized business, or uh, now it's known as uh, Massive. Um, I think the important uh, operating companies within Massive is uh, Dark Fiber Africa, DFA, and uh, Vumato. So in the transaction, Vodacom was uh, or intends to buy a controlling uh, interest in that in that business, um, as well as contribute its own fiber assets uh, into that business. So there are a couple of uh, concerns, uh, competition concerns that we uncovered uh, in our investigation with with this transaction. Um, if I can perhaps categorize them into two. So they are what we we know as um, um, uh, uh, horizontal concerns. So this is basically a loss of direct competition which currently exists uh, mm. between Vodacom and, and Vumato, especially on the fiber market. So what we know is Vodacom does have assets, especially fiber to the home assets, and uh, Vumato also has the same. So the major obviously lo um, uh, loses that competition, especially in areas where you have uh, both uh, Vodacom and Vumato. We tend to see that in areas where you have multiple companies, fiber companies, uh, rolling out fiber prices um, tend to be lower in those areas, so it benefits consumers. But that's not the only uh, concern or problem that we found. We also found that uh, there will also be loss of future competition, uh, but this is not necessarily directly between fiber assets. This now relates to Vodacom's uh, mobile, uh, 5G mobile um, technology versus uh, fiber. We have found that the two directly compete as well, um, especially in terms of uh, the speeds, the speeds that fiber offers, and the prices uh, in which uh, the mobile companies intend to position uh, these uh, 5G mobile products. They too, they do tend to directly compete against mm. against uh, fiber. So, so the major loses that as well, and I think this is consistent with what we've observed uh, elsewhere in the world, especially in developed, uh, developed countries uh, that have much more developed 5, 5G technology. What tends to happen there is the, in, in areas where consumers tend to benefit from, from both 5G, especially fixed wireless access, and uh, the ease fiber, uh, they tend to be much more competitive uh, uh, prices in those areas uh, for those consumers. And um, we we observe, or our findings from this investigation is yeah. that rivalry, that competition in future will be lost um, as a result of the transaction because of how um, the transaction is organized uh, from a governance structure. If I'm to just share more um, with what I can at this moment, um, Vodacom obviously is a controlling shareholder who have some rights um, around what Massive can do uh, in terms of its plans. And secondly, obviously, they will be sending over fiduciaries there in terms of directors to the Massive board, whom can also uh, access and influence decisions of Massive. So we think as a result of this transaction, this future, and it's an uh, important area, um, especially in underserved and low um, low income areas, we and, and I just want to come into on that point on um, lower income areas and underserved areas, if you will, Mr. Mutizwa. Vodacom saying that this is going to open up fiber for about 1 million new households and create about 10,000 jobs. Your thoughts on that response that has come through from Vodacom? Yes, yeah, so th th that's an issue that has been considered, but our finding on that is 
in our view, this will likely okay in any event. You will recall, Rufio, that uh, Vodacom does have obligations, spectrum obligations from the spectrum that they got um, in the in the in the recent past. So they have obligations to roll out um, uh, uh, mobile technologies, especially in underserved areas. So in our view, in our findings, this will. Uh, these rollouts will okay in any event, even without the major. I think the same also applies to uh, the Vuma steel side in terms of their fiber. Mm. They already have plans to roll out fiber. So actually, this is, I think, one of our core findings to say with this major and how our decisions will likely be played out going forward, there will likely be loss of that competitive rivalry, especially in those underserved areas because that's where we see much of the focus for fiber and mobile will be uh, going forward. Yeah. And uh, this major is likely to, to undermine that.